full and uncut versions available on Patreon. Check in the description below. Greetings Marvel Maniacs, Dudes Biz Ben here with a Patreon sponsored series, The Superhero Squad Champ. Now, this is a series that I have watched bits and pieces of, and I mean bits and pieces of. I've at most watched maybe one, two, three, five episodes max fully, and that was around the time that it was first airing on television. But if I remember correctly, this was a series that actually really was a love letter to all things Marvel, especially during the Silver and Bronze Age of Marvel, a little bit of the Gold Age too, but I love Marvel, and this is something that I did at one point want to re-watch, so what better time than when I'm getting paid for it? So, I want to give a big thanks to Steven, and I hope you'll join me on this journey through the Superhero Squad Show, won't you? Oh, you can see the Baxter building. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Doctor Doom? Oh, jeez, man. This in the context of nowadays, a wall to keep our enemies out is, uh, hmm. Well, let's not get into that. Oh, man, it's Stan Lee. Yeah, I guess he did voice... What was it, the mayor of the city? Lethal Legion. Wait, Superhero City? So it's not New York. Huh. The Fantastic Four and Colossus. You remember the days when we could have Avengers characters and X-Men characters in the same series? Ah, man. The early 2010s back. Oh, jeez. Oh, what the heck is breaking through? <laughs> Why does Miss Marvel look so pissed? Cyclops, Beast, and... <laughs> <laughs> they got Miss Marvel's personality down pretty early on, huh? Calm your butts down. And Shield usually doesn't have a situation under control. I think the wall's about to be opened up right now. Oh, jeez. Whoa, what the heck is that? I got caught on the freaking ribbon. Jeez, what a way to open an episode. Infinity Sword? Huh. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, uh, fighting Skrulls. Ah, uh, man. Oh, what was his name again? Reptil? Magneto. For Hero Squad. Hero Up. Oh, man. Dude. <laughs> yeah, it's like everything just all together. Oh, man. Bing Fang Foom. <laughs> just facing Modoc through the city. Squaddies. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, and that's a reference to... <sighs> What was it? A classic? Was, wasn't that the first comic of the Fantastic Four? Oh, man. Dude. And lo, a pilot comes. Oh, hey! Power Man! <laughs> the Shilla Carrier. <laughs> so they don't even hang out in Avengers Tower. Oh, God. Yeah, I guess this would be before the days of Avengers Tower. During the time when they would have had the mansion. Because Avengers Tower would have mostly just been... Would it have even been in the movies yet? When did, when did the first Avengers movie came out? Was it 2012? Oh man, God, I, huh. Silver Surfer, huh? Falcon, uh, they don't even call themselves the Avengers. Yeah, the monsters from Monster Island, right? Uh, Hulk being a dum-dum. Oh jeez, <laughs> Pandemonium. Oh my God, is that Greg Sipes? No, no, his voice is a little too clear. Oh man, this is, this is a guy that was throwing me. So the Silver Surfer is part of their team too? Who? Oh, Mike. Mikey Kelly, okay. Tech Factor, Strength Factor, Elemental Factor, Speed Factor, Energy Factor, Animal Factor. <laughs> it's so cool to hear Steve Bloom, but he goes for like a lower pitch to his voice. Megator, Tricephalus, and Manu. Jeez, those are deep cut monster references. Yeah, Mole Man's air battle between Doctor Doom and Iron Man. Okay, did I miss something? Like, seriously. Did I miss something? It, shattering of the Infinity Sword? What? I feel like I missed like an episode or something, but okay, I guess it just happened before the series. I vaguely remember wondering about this when this was first airing. Pieces of the Infinity Sword. Man, this is a lot of exposition. Also, 
Is Iron Man voiced by Tom Kenny? Sorry I keep stopping, but this is all so intriguing. Yeah, Tom Kenny voices Iron... Oh, and Captain America? Huh, and they got a lot of mileage out of just a few voice actors. Here up. <laughs> really? Little moments to just... <laughs> pad out the episode. All the popular characters. This would have been back before Iron Man... I mean, uh, Captain America got, like much more popular man this is a long fall down <laughs> is that the fastball special no no it's just hulk throwing dr doom just invading from latveria oh, i forgot oh i forgot he was voiced by uh who? charlie adler wasn't he uh yeah buster bunny from tiny toons the Big Heads from Rocco's Modern Life, Akins from My Real Monsters. He mostly does Modoc's voice nowadays. He's been Cobra Commander and G.I. Joe Resolute. He's been Starscream in the um, Transformers films. Mr. Whiskers from Brady and Mr. Whiskers. Cow Chicken and the Red Guy from Cow and Chicken. Iron Baboon from Iron Weasel. T Room from Squat. Squat Catch Radical Squadron. Oh my god. God, talk about a legendary voice actor. You know, the rivalry between Doom and Stark is actually very typical, in the, especially in the comics and stuff. Then again, Doom has a rivalry with pretty much everybody. Doom being served by Mole Man. Oh god, that's his voice. Uh, too much phlegm. Gross. You gotta love how the iron mask actually seems to emote. <laughs> gotta get in the fart joke. <laughs> get underground and get me that... Part of the sword. Doom will prevail. Ugh. Yep, gotta get in the fart joke. <laughs> Abomination. Crack a window. Uh oh. Blind old lady. <laughs> what is with this repeating animation? Uh oh god, freaking blob. What the heck is that? Is that like a freaking Pokeball? I think this was one of the first series that really tried to push Falcon, too. Look out! Oh god, yeah! Gnarly! Huh. They kind of meet the colors in some moments, too. Were they afraid of seizures? Ugh. Ugh. Ew. Gross. <laughs> Don't eat that. Jeez. Ugh. Ugh. Got in his mouth. Ah, oh, Gross. A storm! Ah. Voiced by Cree Summers, I think. Oh, dang. Everybody taking hits. Flesh dissolving. Huh. Uh, instantly know that a fractal is down underground. Oh god. Yeah, you might want to get inside, lady. Jeez. Oh, uh-oh. Don't not literally beat him with it. Don't call me Wolvy. Dude, I think you need more squatties. S-I? Stark Industries? Lava Lab? Ah, uh, probe. Man, there is so much going on here. <laughs> Whack-a-mole. Oh, jeez. Dogs play cards. Oh, oh, right. His psychic sight through Red Wing. That's forgotten nowadays. Oh, oh, jeez, Red Wing. Yeah, people are in shelters, all right, and still running through the city. Oh, dang. Oof, right in the eye. <laughs> He's surfing the ooze. Oh, oh, that's new. <laughs> Sent it right back down his throat. Man, Red Wing keeps catching strays. <laughs> and now you have dinosaurs playing cards. Flatulence detectors. Oh, God. Oh, huh, nice. Hey, are those moloids? Oh, <laughs> hold an open sesame. Were they not able to use the infinity gems? Huh. Oh, dang. Mole Man. You gotta love how Wolverine never really uses his claws against anything that isn't inanimate. Nice. Jeez. Yep. The worst thing about moloids, their abundance. Containment. Oh, wow, he threw sand in his eye. Jeez. To the abyss with doom. Huh, of course. Speed boost, huh. So each fractal does something different? God, look at those legs. Ooh, another change? Huh? Oh, is it Fing Fang Foom? Yep, he was on the little cover they had. Excavation crew. Yep. Ah, what big fangs you have. Jeez, he's still going. Of course, delusions of grandeur. God, those legs on... Freaking bold man. Jeez. Yeah, get the squad out of there. Look at him go. Jeez. Yeah, bail. Don't lead Fing Fang Foon to the surface. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Lava Lab 1 did what now? And we are not having a great time against these things. Now, oh, hey, pile them up. You had the upper hand. God, that's so creepy to look at. Don't be so excited about that, dude. Him having the affinity fractal is not a good thing. Oh, the domes are the shelters. 
Oh god, no! There are people in those! <laughs> Dang. Ooh. Oh god, I really hate looking at him with those giant legs. Who would have thought the biggest threat would be Mole Man? Yeah, now you have to deal with four monsters and a horde of moloids. Yeah, seal that. They're like, get back down there. Oh god, they're all dancing. <laughs> and they also have the people. Oh, what's the plan, Falcon? <laughs> Wow, okay, so Miss Marvel's stuck up personality uh was a thing even beforehand. Gotcha. What's the plan here? Oh, oh jeez. Falcon, buddy. Oh, 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 oh right up his Oh, oh my god, really? Wouldn't it be a Marvel series if the friggin' helicarrier didn't crash into something? There you go. Yeah, how do you get the monsters back into the underground? <laughs> Feed the monsters. Ooh, a little food to tempt them. There you go. First come, first serve. Okay, how are you gonna repair all of this though? Oh, <laughs> just gonna kick him back down. He had an underground headquarters? Oh. Oh, he's gonna fill it. All right, cap it. Nice. Uh, the vault. Okay. It's so weird to just see Asgard hanging out, but in the comics, Broxton, Oklahoma, if you know anything about that, you you understand. So I see the Baxter building. What is that X avengers looking place? And then you have a mountainside out to the other side there. Huh. Oh, is that the vault? Interesting. Hey, Captain America, what the heck were you doing? Oh. Doom, how are you broadcasting? Oh, and, oh, huh. <laughs> A little too close to the camera, Doom. Oh, that happened. Oh, what's going on? Oh, because you crashed the helicarry? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Calling them hot dogs. Whatever works. The Star Trek 3000 predicted you would. Of course. Oh, oh, God. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Ooh, man. Abomination catches strays now. What a friggin' crazy series. This is even wilder than I remember. Not bad, though. Not bad by any means. Just, it's just interesting to see a more, what's the word I'm looking for? Kind of wackier version of a lot of these characters. Although, they tend to try to push a lot of things for the first episode, but on to the second. Huh. Jeez, there's a lot more going on now. Though, so it helps that the city is being attacked. Reptile. Yeah. I actually remember reading about Reptile back in the Avengers Academy days. And it wasn't too long ago in the comics, Reptile had a bit of a comeback after he was, uh, uh he, he ran into some issues some years ago. I think Reptile's still prominent in the comics to a certain degree now. I think... Yeah, it was during the King and Black stuff. Yeah, that kind of became his uh, big comeback for a while there. Yeah, always gotta have the young kid sidekick. It's either Falcon or Reptile or Miss Marvel. Oh, uh, oh, it wouldn't be a Quinjet if it didn't almost crash. <laughs> yeah, this thing needs to be equipped with barf bags. <laughs> no one would judge you if you lost your lunch, kid. Yep. Yep, maybe you'd be better off flying up yourself, kid. <laughs> Jeez. Raptor claws. R really? Really? Dude. Unnecessary. Lobster. Yeah, his little stone. I think in the comics it ends up embedded in his chest later down the line. Hulk's not understanding anything you're saying, buddy. Yeah. Fist bump. Uh, actually, I don't think you wanna... Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Why did they allow Hulk on the shield her helicarrier? Is that Hawkeye? Nice. Oh, man. Yep, Hawkeye with the ego. Oh, and he works for S.H.I.E.L.D., of course. Phone call? I, I don't think you want Hulk to answer that. Oh, boy. <laughs> God. Yep. Oh, secret compartment? Oh, huh. Why is that there? Rafael, can't you fly? To air is superhuman. We're gonna be introduced to Wrecker of the Wrecking Crew? Flight Kid. Flight. There you go. Pterodactyl wings. Iron Man. Huh. Already on the job. <laughs> So everybody was just chilling out as he plummeted. Gotta love the assistant. Wow. Oh, it's gonna throw him out. Oh my. Really? Not cool. Yeah, what is that place? Water and power? Okay. Captain America's all about outdated things. Gotcha. All right. Mentor. Huh. Who's the mentor? Wolverine. Oh, animal factor. Gotcha. Oh boy. This is definitely not Wolverine from Wolverine and the X-Men. Oh boy. Meanwhile, at the Legion of Doom. <laughs> really? A fighting game. I think you're losing Abomination. Freaking Modok. Modok is always the minion. Shoot, if I remember correctly, he was the minion of the Mandarin and the Iron Man anime series in the 90s. Oh. 
Oh, you broke it. And Abomination is as dumb as Hulk. <laughs> Arms too short. And do you know how hard it is to get these pants on and off when you go to the bathroom? It's great that you guys are just watching the kid dig. Oh, alliteration. Ooh, dang. Oh, grab it once they actually gain the uh, shard. <laughs> Oh, Modok. I uh, know it's about the destroyed controllers. Oh, God. I swear to God, this series is a joke every half minute. Guys, you're gonna help. Jeez. Huh. Easy as that, huh? Yeah, what's reeking? Oh, Abomination smells that bad. And here he was worried about being dirty. Oh, jeez. Thunderclap. Oh, and there he goes. Oh, and he's pursuing. Yeah, it was a trap. The Wrecking Crew. Oh, boy. What did you build? And Thunderball has a PhD, right? Oh, jeez. Ooh. Bulldozer. Doze him. Oh, that's the plan here. Oh, okay. Back up. <laughs> oh, hell. What is that? Oh, knockout gas. Well, dang. Oh, nice. Oh, not so nice. The water gonna wake him up? Yeah. <laughs> Thunderball understands. It's time to bail. Yeah, where did the fractal go? No, it's in the water system. Huh. Uh-oh. It's probably gonna show up at the worst place. It's weird that... Shield and the squad are at like two kind of opposite ends of thing. You have Miss Marvel, Hawkeye, Captain America over on Shield side. I guess this would have been around the time of the Civil War, but huh? Uh, Reptile doesn't feel so good about what he did. Man, Hawkeye is a jerk. A plus depiction. Superhero squad hero. <laughs> Padding out the episode. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, does Reptile have a little montage moment? Huh, I guess not. I can smell your fear. Smells like cupcakes. Not the best pep talk, but it's a thought that counts. Get on board or get out of the way, kid. Ooh, ah, darn it. Uh-uh. Oh, you're the only one here. Time to hear up, kid. Oh, wait, Hulk, you're still here? You forgot to put lid down. Wait, you don't even know where to go. Oh, God. God dang it. Yep. Hey, he does get a montage. There are some great shots in this series. <sighs> oh, Hulk. Oh, <laughs> what the heck is going on there? <laughs> I mean, Wolverine is Canadian. Of course he'd love hockey. Allosaurus. Oh, dang. Nice. That's the game. Face down is right. Teaming up with Wolverine. A classic. Tyrannosaurus eyes. Huh. Eyes of a predator. Huh. It's weird that it ended up under the ice. Uh-oh. Thunderball's gonna bully over. Oop. He ended up in Mexico? <laughs> Weird. Ooh, nice. Uh-oh. Anything could happen. Oh, God. Ah, I shrunk him. Dang. <laughs> How did he pants them? Yeah. Oh, Dr. Doom has shown up. Or is it a Doombot? It's a Doombot. Yep, I knew it. Doom wouldn't show up in person. Not yet. I actually love how on point this is in some places. <laughs> uh, Hulk, that's that's not the attire of a mariachi band. Wait, Lockjaw? The Inhumans? Oh, Thunderball, how did you end up here? I'm gonna wreck him! Oh, I don't want to think about Baldur's earlobe. <laughs> Thunderball, how are you gonna turn back to normal? Ooh, <laughs> step back. <laughs> Doom always shows up to bail out his crew. At least there's that. He doesn't kick you to the curve when you fail. Actually, robots make a lot of sense, because Wolverine can cut him up as much as he wants. Oh, you made skates. Really? <laughs> nice. Again, Wolverine's Canadian. Nice. Wait, when did you guys get here? Yeah. This is the series that introduced me to Reptile to a certain degree. Oh, oh my god, you gotta stop leaning against that kid. Huh, at least we know he'll be alright. Go get him! None of you did that before. <laughs> nice vacation, Hulk. Ah, uh, and this is why we don't let Hulk answer the phone. God. <laughs> He's still going. Yeah. Oh my god. Cut to the Watcher. What a wackadoo series. What fun. Yeah, I can't hate on it. I mean, not really much to say, all things considered. But it is nice to see just random characters kind of pop up. You know, Steven told me, yeah, it's kind of like Batman Brave and the Bold. And yeah, to a certain degree, yeah, kind of. A series that taps into the sillier side of goings on when it comes to superheroes, but at the same time harking back to the more fun elements. Not all comic books were always doom and gloom. They'd have their sillier moments, especially when it came to things like uh, advertising those things, like hostess snacks and stuff like that. So having everyone kind of team up in this almost superficial manner, there's still a degree of uh, interplay between everyone, Cap, Hawkeye, 
Miss Marvel being on the team. Miss <laughs> Marvel's more angrier side. Hulk being just the dumb lug. Honestly, I see a lot of elements that kind of went into Avengers Assemble in this too. And even to a certain degree, Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Some elements of characters are just staples of who they are and they really do carry through. And that's a lot of fun. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Also remember to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the ride. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, I've been Deez Diz Din and I hope to see you later. Take care. Bye bye.